Hello everyone, it is good to be with you today. Today we are going to continue with our journey through the Old Testament with the story about how Nehemiah rebuilt the wall around Jerusalem. But first, let's worship the Lord and sing together. So lift your hands up high and jump with me It's the real deal This ain't no show Yeah, we got spirit We're ready, set, go Got a race to run We're pulling up our socks Eyes on the prize And we're out of the blocks If you want a bad fruit You got to move Everybody's got to move Get up and get grooving If you know the truth Don't miss your chance You don't need dancing shoes Talking to them, we walk away. What will they think? Will they make fun? Where will they go when the time on earth is done? We gotta be the salt, we gotta be the light. We gotta get a left or we gotta get a right. Trying to be sensitive has got us in a mess. Put on your armor and take one in the chest. If you wanna be
verse was Nehemiah 1 verse 11. O oh Lord, please hear my prayer. Listen to the prayers of those of us who delight in honouring you. Today our memory verse is Nehemiah 8 verse 10b. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Please say it with me. Nehemiah 8 verse 10b. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let's sing one more song together.
last week we learned about Nehemiah and how sad he was when he learned that the walls of the city of Jerusalem were down. We also learned that he prayed and fasted before he spoke to the king and that he asked the king if he could go to his people to restore the wall. Today we are continuing with the story of Nehemiah. We read about it in Nehemiah 3 to 8. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 2,400 years back in time. Finally, I can tell you the rest of the story of a man called Nehemiah. He was a Jew who had just returned to Jerusalem after his people had to flee the country. Because the Jews were disobedient to God, Jerusalem was burned down by their enemies. But Nehemiah loved his people and his country. And most of all, he loved God, who chose the Jews to be his people. So Nehemiah came back to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem with his people. But not everybody was too happy about the building project going on. They had their own plans for Jerusalem. Do they think they can fix things themselves? Do they think they can finish it in a day? Are they going to build the walls from the piles of rubble, even though they have been burned to the ground? Even if a fox would climb on it, the wall would break. But Nehemiah didn't listen to his negative neighbors. He just kept on working, trusting that God was with them. Great work, everybody. We're halfway there already because you're working so hard. Mm. But the wall is going to fall down. The stones are too broken. It's impossible to build. Don't worry about it. God will support us in our work. It will succeed. Hmm. So the work on the walls is progressing and the gaps are being closed. We have to do something. Well, if we attack now, we can just walk through the gaps in the walls. Before they know it, we'll be inside the city to kill them and stop the work. What a brilliant idea! <laughs> God had already warned Nehemiah about the attack. So they held guard day and night. Everybody's very spread out along the wall. Hmm. <clears throat> Listen, everybody. The enemy could attack at any moment. When you hear the trumpet sound, come and gather right here. Fight for your families, your sons, your daughters, your wives and your houses. Remember, the Lord is great and powerful. From this day on, the builders did their work with the load in one hand and a weapon in the other. And Nehemiah had everyone working on the lowest parts of the walls first. They have found out. Their God has spoiled our plan. What a stupid idea you had! Huh. We'll have to try something else. A trap! Dear Nehemiah, We have heard that the building project is going well, and that there are no gaps left in the wall. Great job! Let's meet together over here. Kind regards, your neighbours. They just want to trick me. 
No way I'm walking into their trap. Sorry, I have important work to do. I can't come over. Can't come down? Huh. I have heard that you are building this wall just to rebel and become king yourself. Now, the king wants to hear about this. So come, let's talk together. Huh? None of this is true. You're just making this up. Don't they come? They tried tricking Nehemiah like this several times. But Nehemiah simply trusted God and kept on building the wall. And after just 52 days, the wall was finished. Huh. But that's impossible. That kind of work could only be completed with the help of their god. Who knows what else they're capable of? <sighs> I don't want to know. What can we learn from the story of Nehemiah? The same enemy that tried to stop God's work in Nehemiah's day is the same enemy at work in our world today. The devil wants to stop God's work. He doesn't want people to be saved from their sins and become a part of God's family. The Jews had a physical wall that could protect their city. God is more powerful than any wall and promises to protect his people from their enemies. Just as Nehemiah trusted God and asked for his help in rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, we should trust God and ask him to help us to rebuild the walls of faith in our lives so that we can live a life that is dedicated to him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your protection and your help to live our lives as your children. Help us to keep the wall of your love around our lives and to help others to experience your love as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are closing this lesson with one last song. Please sing with me.
brain. Whatever I lose, whatever I gain, I can take the thick, I can take the thin. Whether I fail or whether I win, I can take the ins, I can take the outs, I can take the laughs, I can take the pouts, I can do all things, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Word. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. 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 You now have time to do the activities that goes with this lesson. May God bless you. See you next week.